Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got Hornady Superformance, their 129 grain SST load in 6.5 Creedmoor. And here is your box for that Hornady Superformance 129 grain SST 6.5 Creedmoor load. Here on the back is your promo info for your Superformance ammo. Go ahead and stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Right here is your ballistics info. They're claiming 2,950 feet per second. I think that might be wishful thinking out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. We'll see if Superformance can do it. I don't think it's going to be able to do it, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the rounds here. And there is your SST ballistic tip bullet really good looking stuff let's go shoot it and see how it does and the test rifle today is my ruger american chambered in 6.5 creedmoor of course it's got a 22 inch barrel up top i've got a leopold vx freedom 3 to 9 by 40. yes this is the same ruger american i've used for all my 6.5 creedmoor tests i just did a little bit of a krylon camo paint job on the stock and coming on back of course i've got one of my mason leather cartridge cuffs check out my website masonleather.com I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming around to the other side, I wanna show you, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's go ahead and look at the velocities for that Hornady Superformance 129 grain SST out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 27.95, our low 27.15, our average was 27.62. That's a little disappointing considering it's billed at, a, I believe, 29.50. And I'm down here at the blocks after shooting that 129 grain Superformance SST load out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And these performed really well, better than I expected, actually. We captured all three bullets. Let's go ahead and look at penetration. So we have two right there, one on top of the other. Both of those are right about 19 and a half inches. And then we have one that went a little bit further. We'll give that one 21 inches. And it looks like we did get pretty good expansion. It'll be fun when we dig these out and measure that. Coming on back to the first block, we got some pretty nasty wound cavities here. And I can tell you, looking through the scope, this thing hits the blocks pretty darn hard. It slams it around a little bit. It starts to open up really quick, about one inch, one and a half inches. Nice wide wound cavity. And keep in mind, this is three separate wound tracks in here. It's not one bullet doing all that damage. But nevertheless, nice looking wound cavities. Comes on back, closes at about the 11 inch mark. So solid energy transfer. Let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. And here are those 129 grain SSTs as recovered from the ballistics gel. And y'all, these performed about perfectly as compared to what I thought they would do with a Superformance SST load. Weight retention wise, we saw 78 grains, 83 grains, and 88 grains for an average of 83 grains retained weight. That works out to 64% weight retention, but these are a ballistic tip, you know, super shock tip bullet going at least supposedly pretty darn fast. That's about what I would expect from them. And then onto expansion, we saw 0.6 inches, 0.66 inches, and 0.61 inches for an average of 0.62 inches expanded diameter. That works out to 2.4x expansion pretty good and as you can see the expansion was fairly uniform they expanded well velocity wise our high velocity was 27.95 our low was 27.15 for an average of 27.62 versus that factory build velocity of 29.50. So we came in 188 feet per second slow. And honestly, that's not super surprising. With Superformance ammo, you really need the longest barrel you can get. They're loading this stuff to the gills. My Ruger American has a 22 inch barrel. That's my test rifle. 
most 6.5 Creedmoor hunting rifles out there in the world have 22 inch barrels. Yeah, there's 24 inch target rifles, 26 inch target rifles, and maybe that's what you need to ring out that 2950 feet per second velocity. But even with two inches more of barrel, I don't think we would have approached 2950. And on to penetration, very consistent penetration, 19 and a half inches, 19 and a half inches, and 21 inches, an average of about 20 inches of penetration. That is right there, perfect with that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting. And kinetic energy wise, with a 129 grain bullet going on average 2,762 feet per second, that works out to 2,185 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Superformance 129 grain SST load for the 6.5 Creed More. Honestly, this stuff performed about like I thought it would, and actually a little bit better than I thought it would in some respects. Weight retention wise, 64%. That's a lot. Lot lower than a lot of other hunting ammo that I've tested but it's an SST bullet super shock tip it's kind of expected and the bullets didn't blow apart they just shed you know not even most of their weight they retained most of their weight but they shed a good amount of their weight but the main bulk of the bullets did hold together which was nice to see expansion wise decent expansion pretty good 2.4 x you're definitely going to get that shock that this bullet's supposed to deliver super shock tip sst right velocity wise a little bit disappointed they're supposed to be really screaming at 2950 feet per second we only saw 2762 on average 188 feet per second slow it is what it is i'm you know i don't really care i'm using a 22 inch barrel rifle which is what most 6.5 Creedmoor hunting rifles have, 22 inch barrels. If you've got a 24 inch barrel target rifle or hunting rifle, I'm sure you'd see a bit more velocity. And with Superformance ammo, I'm sure every little bit of barrel length does help get you closer to that 2950. And then penetration wise, very consistent actually. 19 and a half, 19 and a half, and 21 inches. Right there averaging 20 inches that I like to see for medium game. All in all, I'm actually rather surprised that this stuff did as well as it did. If it shot accurately out of my rifle, I wouldn't hesitate to use it on whitetail deer. I might stop and take pause about using it on game that's a little bit tougher. I wouldn't want to shoot, say, big boar hogs with it. Smaller wild hogs, I'm sure it would roll them over just nice. I wouldn't use this stuff on elk or anything like that. I wouldn't use it on mule deer. Uh, for pronghorn, I'm sure it would actually be a great load. So if your rifle likes this stuff, I wouldn't hesitate to use it, especially on somewhat lighter medium game. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.